What's up guys, this is Forrest Knight, and today we're going to look at making the new MacBook Pro look a little bit more like this one. And before we get started, I'd like to let you all know that all the links to everything in this video are in the description below, as well as a few other things like dongles that are listed on the Apple website, but for cheaper. It'll be to Amazon, so be sure to check those out if you're interested in getting any dongles or anything in this video. So first we're going to be looking at three different USB-C hubs. The first one being the Hutu. This hub doesn't connect directly into the USB-C port, meaning there's a cord in between the, the computer and this actual hub. It comes with an SD card reader, three USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI output, and one USB-C charging port. And that's important because there are many hubs, not in this video, but there are other hubs that their USB-C port does not charge. They would only use it for flash drives or other attachments. It doesn't charge the computer using some of the other USB-C ports, but luckily this one does. On Amazon, this is $65 and has a four-star rating with 195 customer reviews. This next hub is by Sateki. It is a Type-C USB 3.0 port, just like the one before, except this does not have a cord between the laptop and the hub. Like before, this one also has an SD card reader, but it also has a micro SD card reader. And that's very important if you have a camera like a GoPro or a drone. It only has two USB 3.0 ports, and it also has a charging USB-C port, but it doesn't come with an HDMI output. So if you're looking to hook up another monitor via HDMI, I would recommend the other one unless you really need the micro SD. This one is $45 on Amazon and over 164 reviews, it only has a three star rating, which isn't bad, but it isn't a four star or three and a half star like this next one, the Hyperdrive. That's why I included this one, although it only has 14 customer reviews and it's $5 more. It's the same exact hub, essentially. It has the same outputs and ports. It doesn't have the cord in between the laptop and the hub, but this is just another option in case you have heard something about the former, or maybe you've heard something about this one, the latter, and you would rather have this a techie. I've also heard that the Hyperdrive matches better with your laptop, but I'm unable to confirm that. So what many people like me are worried about is not having a USB 3.0 port. I'm sure we will find the USB-C port to be superior. However, I have an external hard drive, a micro SD card reader, and just basically everything else that I need, like my iPhone charger. That's all USB 3.0, and I need to somehow use that with the new MacBook if I were to get one. And I can't connect that using USB-C, and I don't want all these cords hanging out if I want that. So this is a very good solution that I found. It is a Nanda USB-C to USB 3.0 mini adapter. So this one doesn't have a cord. It hooks directly from the USB 3.0 to USB-C. And this is good because I could buy, you know, three or four, however many I think I need, and just keep them on my external hard drive, on my micro SD card reader, and on my flash drive. I can just keep those on those instead of keeping them in my laptop or rolling around in a bag somewhere, and it'll be much more convenient. I feel like it'll be flush and you won't even be able to tell it's there. These are $10 on Amazon, except for the space gray version, which is $11, which is actually temporarily out of stock at this moment. And I chose this because of the flushness, the minimal idea of it without having the cord in there and has 459 customer reviews at a four star rating. Can't really go wrong with that. And to end off this video, we've seen with the MacBook that's actually been shipped of the new versions, it doesn't come with a power adapter extension cable, which means you have to plug in the block into whatever outlet you need. Instead of being able to just plug in three prong plug, you'd have to plug in that whole block. One actually came with my older 2012 MacBook Pro. So if I were to get the new MacBook, I wouldn't need it. However, I did find one on Amazon that is cheaper than the one that's on the Apple website. Instead of being $19, like on the Apple website, this one is just over $8. And that's it. Those are the five things I would think you would need the most if you were to get the new 2016 MacBook Pro. And don't forget, the links to all products in this video are in the description box below, along with other dongles that are same quality as the ones from the Apple Store, but a lot cheaper over on Amazon. So be sure to check out those links below. And until next time, have a good one.